Hello, and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, and the world to New Zealand. Uh, wow, the, um, the State of the Union that wasn't a State of the Union yesterday. Woohoo! Woo! Woohoo! Do you see it? I mean, just look how gripped uh, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan was by the whole situation there. Um, are those seats just a little bit too comfortable? Even Vice President Mike Pence looks like he's starting to get a bit of a lean on. Well, and to be honest, in this picture, Trump is starting to look a little tired. I don't know how far through... Uh, the speech that I mean, it was quite a long speech. It went for an hour, but uh, even even Mister Energy, Donald Trump, looked like he was starting to lose a, a little bit of his will to live there, listening to his own speech. I mean, I may have I may have snapped that. It, see, my advantage is that Paul Ryan is quite a slow blinker. Um, what makes you think that I'm enjoying it, Frosty Rod? Frosty Rod's just said, you know, uh, that I, I can make fun of it, but at least I don't have to li live with the fakers in the US. Um, yeah, I don't know that I, I'm just... I'm just watching it. Um, mind you, not all the reaction to Trump's speech has been uh, positive. Some of it has. Um, some of it's... Weird, the the conservative union spokesman. Now I, I, I looked at this and I th I thought, what's going on there with with that guy's forehead, Mister Mister Schlapp, Matt Schlapp. Uh, because here he is, just five days ago. Um, there's nothing that you know. It's for it's large. It's a large forehead, and believe me, I know about large foreheads. Ah. Uh, but then there, it looked to me like he'd also fallen asleep during Trump's thing. You know, it had gone and then bruised it. But, um, and then, you know, he'd taken the bandage off, but it was still bruised because it's a... But turns out, just about everybody CNN spoke to today, Fox spoke to today, they... they it's Ash Wednesday. It's a blimmin' made up. Yeah, Ash Wednesday. It's a, it's a, it's to do with made up stupid religion things. So they just prepared to go and look ridiculous on international news networks. Unbelievable. Uh, so Spider Man has gone to jail. Uh, for stealing some art. He's gone to jail for eight years, Spider-Man. I reckon he'll get out of there. No problem. I've seen him get out of wor worse things than that. But there's still five major pieces of art that uh, they haven't recovered. Uh, I think... I, this could just be a hunch, but I reckon they'll find one of them at CNN. Because as they were talking about the story, they were holding up a piece of art. And I thought, mm, is there a connection here? So probably if they wanted that to stay hidden, that they shouldn't have put it on screen. But anyway. Finally, Facebook has your has your social media platform when you have to take measures to beef up your suicide prevention tools. There are new options for people to report if someone might harm themselves while broadcasting on Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook said on Wednesday it's in a unique position through personal connections people have on Facebook to help those in distress. Do you think, uh, Facebook, that you should stop driving people to suicide in the first place? Funny old world we live in. I agree, Digital Age TV. Thank you for having me up your periscope. I hope this did not make you so depressed uh, you wanted to end it all. Uh, I will see you back here again tomorrow with Friday's Glen ZB TV.